Hi, I'm Kip from KipHakes.tv and today I'm unboxing something. I'm unboxing this. It is a Rode NT1A microphone and uh, I love these microphones. I've got one already, but I wanted two just to have a matching pair for when James is with me or George is with me and we're recording and I just wanted a microphone each on uh, each arm. So this is the Rode NT1A. I've already got one of these, as I say. So I know roughly what's here, but I thought I'd unbox it with you so you could see what's inside. So uh, let's crack on and uh, see what's inside the box. Now the problem is this box is quite big, so I can't do my overhead camera like normal because quite simply, it just doesn't fit. So uh, let's get this off. This isn't very dignified, is it? I don't want to bang my desk too much. Okay. So it makes the camera wobble. Okay, cardboard sleeve off. Okay, let's have a look. This is slightly different packaging to my old microphone, actually. I like this. I like this a lot. So it's all, it's all individually boxed. There we go. So first up, we have the uh, shock mount with pop filter. So that is essentially the cradle that the microphone sits in and it's got a pop filter to sort of uh, remove the, that's a technical term. So basically it's the cradle and the pop filter in there. I don't use the pop filters because the way my microphones are actually set up, the, uh, the mounting for the pop filter is on the wrong side. So uh, yeah, I don't use that. So that is that. We've got a quick start guide in the box as well. Seems unnecessary, I know what I'm doing. Ah, right, okay. Tells you on the box what it is. <laughs> so this is the microphone. And this is uh, the cable. I'm not gonna get this out, but basically this is six meters of Rode microphone cable. I use, um, I use no ball audio cable simply because I like the colors. But yeah, it's just an XLR cable, six meters. I'm not gonna get that out because it's just a cable. You know what a cable looks like. Well, I mean, I hope you know what a cable looks like. Anyway, right. So this is it. Ooh, this is the microphone. So it comes with the dust bag. Anybody dust? Don't need the dust bag. But that's good if you like travel around with it. And here we go. This is the bad boy. So they come in grey and black, I believe. I've got the grey ones. Here we go. So if you don't know, the gold spot tells you the point that you need to talk into. Hello. And then, uh, so on the bottom here, We've got um, the XLR connector and a little screw to fit it into the uh, the cage, the shock mount. So basically, the difference between an XLR microphone and a USB microphone is kind of simple. Basically, this microphone just concentrates on collecting audio. Now, a USB microphone has an audio interface inside it. So the microphone has electronics to catch the audio and then convert it digitally into um, sounds that your computer can understand. Now, I don't, I've got a separate interface that my microphones plug into. So basically, it's got the XLR connector there and my interface has got an XLR connector onto the front. And then that box is the thing that converts all the sound signals from this into audio that the computer can understand. So basically a, a USB microphone sort of just has everything involved inside it all at once. And some people like that. I, I don't basically. I'd much rather have something, I'd much rather have this just concentrating on being an awesome microphone and then like another bit of equipment concentrating on being an awesome audio interface rather than having it all in one. So that's basically rough difference. There's, you know, I just like, I just like this, I just like this gear. It just feels a little bit more professional. I'm not saying if you've got a USB microphone, you're not professional, you are, because there are very expensive, very good USB microphones. But I don't know, I just don't like the idea of having everything all in one. Anyway, I'm waffling. 
So uh, that is the microphone. We don't need the dust bag. So the microphone's not traveling anywhere yet, but I will keep that. So now let's have a quick look at the shock mount. So this is essentially the guy that holds the microphone in place. And uh, yeah, you can add a pop filter to the front of it. I am not gonna have the pop filter, as I said, just because the way my microphones are mounted, it doesn't fit. Get out. There we go, that's the pop filter. So that hooks onto the microphone shock mount. So that, so that hooks onto the microphone shock mount there. But yeah, it doesn't angle quite around enough to where I want it, so I'm just not going to use it. Now there we go, that is, get it the right way up, that is what the microphone sits into. So you've got this bit here with the nice road branding on and that connects onto your microphone arm. And this is the bit where the um, pop filter sits on and screws into. So I'm gonna undo this and get rid of it. But yeah, so basically you just then screw the microphone and then you can tighten it up. And then it's got a thumb wheel at the bottom. So yeah, you want the gold dot in the way that the way that the voice is being collected like that. You can't hear it because it's not popular. So there we go. So yeah, basically that just sort of counteracts any wobbles and stuff on the arm just to stop any uh, problems collecting the audio. There we go. So that's all ready to be plugged in and this is ready to be screwed onto my Rode arm. So yeah, that is that is it. That is this unbox. There's not really much. You don't want to you don't want to watch me just screwing a mount, do you? So this it's pointless showing you that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it all plugged in and set up and uh, yeah, so the next the next video recordings will be in proper stereo. Pointless doing that now because Anyway, thank you so much for watching this unboxing. You're very kind. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya!